Hey guys, I'm back. Um, back in Utah, back out in the garage, um, looking at around at all the stuff that I still have to do um, on all these projects I'm working on. So let's do a quick recap and then I'm going to get busy, shall we? Okay, guys, well, here's the deal. So I've got um, two weeks of road trip behind me. Gray and I did our big trip around the Northwest. If you've watched that video, you know all about it. Um, had a great time. And um, now I'm back and paying the piper. Man, I got a garage full of projects and I got the boat out there. So. I'm going to bring you up to speed on what we're going to work on today and what we're going to do here over the next week or two. So um, right down here is my water pump tank project out of the truck. What we discovered on our trip was that that was close to being in pretty good shape, but not quite there. So what I'm going to do, I need to put a pressure switch on it so that we can just turn the pump on and then start and stop the water. I hadn't, I thought it would be okay to just be able to turn the pump on and run the water and turn it off, but we wound up kind of either melting the connector or burning out the pump. That didn't work. Got to do a little work on that. Um, I want to get that fixed because there's a thing coming up in a couple of weeks that I'll get to. Um, second of all, right here behind me on the bench, couple of boxes from West Marine. Now one of those boxes is my fairing compound. The other box is my two-part epoxy. So I need to get up on the sailboat and work on that. I think that's what I'm going to do right now. And then um, because it's still light outside and I got time. And then of course this bad boy sitting here is um, ready for its sanding and polishing and all that kind of stuff. Um, Looks to me like we've collected a little bit of dust in our absence. But um, if that's the worst we have to pay for that two-week road trip, I'll take it because it sure was a great time. So um, I think what I'll do is I'm going to open up the garage door and throw the ladder up on the boat, get up there and have a quick look at it, and then um, probably bust open this box of fairing compound and get back to work on getting some fairing done. All right, well, I don't remember this looking quite this rough when I left. I think the fairing fairies came and messed things up on me a little bit, but um, it is what it is. So obviously if there's some high spots here that I knew were going to be there, edges and so forth. I'll have to sand some of those down and um, just tear into it. So I got a little bit of work to do on this yet, but that's okay. I got... I got more materials, so I think we'll be able to get this sorted on out. So I'm going to do that for a bit. I'm not going to bother you watching me because I'm going to sand. Okay, well, I said I wasn't going to make you watch me sand any more of the boat, and I didn't. Um, I sanded all night last night until it got dark. Well, not all night, but until it started getting dark on me. And I think I have the thing ready for another pass with the fairing compound. Now, this time around... I'm going full drywall, dude. So I went downstairs and got my hawk out of the basement. Um, it's been a long time since I've had this thing in my hand, but between this and my eight inch knife, we're gonna go lay this stuff on like we're doing drywall. Here's what I'm hoping. The thing I was using before was kind of a curved plastic thing. The idea being that as your compound set up on it, you could kind of pop it back and forth. It would clean off. I don't think cleaning up is my big challenge. I think working the material when it's workable is my big challenge. And I know how to use these two things together. So I expect to have much better luck kind of managing the thing. I'll mix it up on here. I'm gonna put another coat of fairing compound all across that top. I think uh, pretty much the whole thing needs a little skim coat. And I'm thinking I'm probably gonna, I'm gonna do one pass across the front of the cabin where it slopes up because I've been going up and down with that and now I've kind of got me some high spots and low spots so I think I'll do a pass across that and then I'm going to go up to the front of the bow 
and I'm just gonna start slowly working my way back, doing a chunk at a time, and kind of skimming a real tight lay down layer of fairing compound all the way back. So I will let you watch me do that. Um, we'll time lapse it so you don't have to watch too much of it, but let's go see how that works out, shall we? Well, that worked a little better. Um, I think I got a pretty good pass on most of the front up there. Um, I got back towards that cabin top and I was kind of working myself out of a place to work. So I'm gonna let that cure overnight and then tomorrow I'll go out and finish up right up there around the cabin top and that slope up. I started to think about going across there and I was like, no, I'm just gonna be getting in my my stuff that's I've laid down if I put much there. I put a little couple of dibs and dabs there as I was finishing up a batch or two. But yeah, I think it's time for um, kicking back and let that stuff cure for a while. So we'll see how it looks in the morning. I see I already got one poor little bug all stuck in the mud out there. So I've um, already killed one little fly dude or hopefully he's dead already because he's stuck tight to the curing fairing compound. But we'll see how it looks tomorrow, and hopefully I'll be ready to finish up with it. One last kind of coat up there close to and around the corners of where the cabin top goes, slopes up, and then across the front of that. Maybe one last little skim right up there where the mast step goes. And then I'll graduate up to no more than 80 grit. Maybe I'm not going to use the 40 grit this pass because um, I won't be taking as much off. I just want to smooth out the stuff so a little sanding and then obviously I'm sure there will be a spot or two you know where I left a little divot or something I'll have to come back and fix those up but it should be now just patching here and there maybe a tiny little batch and maybe even that little putty knife just going across it and fixing up a little spot or two and then should be ready for paint so that's the plan we know my plans don't always go as planned though so we'll see how it looks tomorrow Okay, this batch of fairing compound is going to come back to haunt us later. Okay, let's peruse our work here, shall we? Oh my gosh, look at that big old glob that flipped off the knife. Well, we'll let that dry and come back and get it later. Okay, well, in the interest of trying to save myself a little bit of work, I grabbed a chisel and just took a chisel to some of these ridges and high spots here. under the category of 
anything is better than sanding. I even grabbed a file and I just laid the file flat and I was going across some of those ridges and high spots see if I could file them down. Okay, again, I didn't make you watch, but I did sand some up near the bow here. Guys, at this point, I have kept no secrets from you and I'm um, not going to start now. So I've been outside working on the boat and it looks like so what I've been doing is sanding down that fairing compound. And remember, if we go back to the point where I was explaining that you take two parts of the white paste and one part of the gray activator and you mix those all together. Very imprecise when you're scooping it out of this bucket with a one inch trowel or, or you know, putty knife, whatever. So apparently I have one batch in a couple of places up there that I didn't get enough activator in, up in it and it's still soft and it won't sand. It just balls up on the sandpaper. And um, I, I, so a while back, I dropped one of my iPod or iPhone earbuds in the ocean up at the boat. So I bought these little three, between three and C high fidelity audio file earbuds. So I'm out there working on the thing and the earbuds go in your ear and this one in particular, when you lean down, it, it kind of rotates out, falls out of your freaking ear. So, so I'm up there, I'm sanding, sun's going down. The, the I'm getting up to the point where I've got some really big, you know, high spots and stuff. And as I start sanding, it just it gets all spongy and sticking to my sandpaper and the thing's falling out of my ear and I'm starting to get mad. And then whatever I'm doing, I get the thing back in my ear and I get my phone in my back pocket and I'm leaned over, hunched over from the top of the boat down to the deck. I guess I, my butt was pushing on the volume button. So all of a sudden the, the sound, is going really high in my ears and the sanders all balled up and gosh, I just about completely lost my temper out there. I'm glad nobody was walking by right then because I think I was probably cussing and swearing and throwing things and I, I didn't throw things and I didn't make that big of a deal, but it, gosh, it was frustrating. I was like, you know what? I'm done for tonight. I'm done for a while. I'm, I'm, I still got a weekday. I might, call West Marine or the company that makes that fairing compound and just go, what do I do? I dug some of it out with my six inch knife up there. I was kind of able to slice a layer or two off. So we'll see if maybe doing that tomorrow throughout the day, the sun will be beaten down. Maybe that stuff will cure out, but maybe I was thinking, well, maybe I could take a little bit of the gray activator and just put a little light skim of that over that stuff that's not really cured and see if that sinks down in and cures it. I don't know. I think that's probably worth asking somebody, but for right now, I'm so done. <laughs> I'm so done. There's so many highs and lows with these projects. I mean, it was a, I felt pretty good. The first go around on the boat, I got it all painted. It was looking good. My, my anti-fouling bottom paint has fallen off. It didn't stick very well. So it was a high point when I had all the paint on and the bottom on and the top deck painted in last year or two years ago, whatever. Whenever I got that done, it was looking pretty good. And now I'm frustrated again. So I think it's time to put the boat on the back burner, at least for tonight. My psyche needs rest. So I'm going to wrap this up. I think I'm about done working on the boat for a little bit. I've been watching the cut and buff videos again. And um, I'm sitting here looking at the BMW. 
And I think that I got to sand a little more with the 1,000 grit or the 1,500 grit. The one guy's watching was doing it with 1,000 grit. I'm not sure I'm brave enough to do that and at this point where I've already sanded some. But obviously, there is not supposed to be any orange peel. So, yeah, whatever. A little more sanding to do, a little cut and buffing. Not going to make it up to Seattle this week, this coming week. Got to stay here in town. But at least I got a weekend coming, so there's that. So anyway, for right now, I'm putting the boat to bed. And uh, I think it's time to go have a glass of wine or something. So thanks for watching, guys. Um, you should probably subscribe if you're not already subscribed because <laughs> the chaos is guaranteed to continue. If nothing else, you can... Uh, you can watch these and go, well, at least I'm not going through that nonsense and doing all that sanding and all that. So anyway, um, I'll see you next time around.